Yeah, there's just not a great splash page I want on Jinteki Net. Like, its splash page is the chat, but like, yeah, it's, 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 it's there like, really isn't one, I guess. There's, there, you know, it's like okay, like there's there's a bunch of different. So right now, I'm just sort of splashed in on the the the, the deck builder. Yeah, I, I guess the, the other one would be like maybe just the play tab, just show what games are up. Yeah. So, but yeah, hello <laughs> everybody. Uh, again, seeing as new card releases, new a lot of new deck ideas, uh, and heck, even uh, from literally last week, uh, format changes. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've got some some decks to to build. Uh, in more specific, there, uh, we spent a good amount of time talking about HB precision design and different things that deck might be doing. Turns out that uh, from early results, the they want to slow down the deck, and thus uh, Violet, yeah, there we are, uh, is being thrown on the band list. Yep, VLC it, has been banned, which is a like such a strange like like i understand the choice but it's like you know it's like obviously they don't want to kill the 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 uh the the, the entire the, deck or they archetype or right anything like they don't that. want to kill the deck on day two yeah but like so it's like okay they just hit its best econ card and it's, it's like, okay. it, it's interesting it's a fairly light touch it seems honestly like i think the deck is still quite strong yeah but hitting that card specifically does slow it down by probably a couple turns. Um, a little bit, like it, 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 you know, it's something that just it has to switch in a little bit more econ draw mm -hmm. options. You know, Rashida still exists, and Rashida kind of fills a similar role. Um, yeah, but actually, Rashida is like really close to a violet. <laughs> It is actually wow. <laughs> that I'm but thinking about. It's it. a it's a violet that you have to defend for a turn, which makes it a lot more fair, I think. Yeah, but yeah, but so, yeah. It, they both have a trash cost of one, even. <laughs> yeah, twenty. So anyway, what we're doing today is just going to be doing some games with new decks. Yeah, new decks. So uh, totally untested, unvetted, except yeah. for maybe one or two. Yeah, like. Spent some time doing some deck building off stream uh, and some looking at other decks off stream. Uh, the runners, for instance, I have are not my design, uh, but the corpse that I have here are. So that sort of bit. Well, two of the corpses I have here are, and then there's this one that I've taken a look at and decided I don't like this, so I built a completely different direction than this, but I still might play it to see how it works. Uh, but yeah. Uh, what side do you want to play first? I was just going to ask you that. No, I'm, looking, um, I'm looking at my corpse is what I'm... Alright, yeah. Let's just get the runner game out of the way. Um, should I play my my major runner or my minor runner? Your call. Okay. Alright. Um, and let me see if there's a... Okay, so new game. I'm on corp. Standard. And yeah. there we go. Oh right, the the loud doo doo. I might have to adjust some volume, so we'll we'll see how that ends up being. I I forgot about this. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of noisy, but luckily there's the volume mixer. Yep. I think there might even be settings for it too. All right. Alright, um, I might have to turn this a little down on size. There, we turned that down on size, then we're good. Alright, um, how are we feeling about this hand? Hmm. Hmm. No ice. Hmm. Hmm. You do get the free mulligan. Let's take it. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this one. I am likely to have. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is a uh -oh. hand and a half. All right. We're we're fun here. <laughs> All right. So, 
Let's go ahead and start it up. Um, so yeah, I'll try to keep visual on what cards are being played here. But Corpse Start. Um, hmm. I know that's number one. Hedge, yep. Hedge Fund for nine. Probably the four. most common first click in all of Netrunner. Um, yep, it does have the, the loud bit. Okay, let's... Um... One moment while I just pull up the volume control so that I've got it set aside. There's a volume in the settings tab. If you just click settings, you can go there. Is there? Yep. You can actually disable sounds if you prefer not to have them. I can't get into settings in mid game. How do you? Oh, how do you? Do I'm that? able to. I just click settings right to to the right from play. Oh, I thought I always thought that dropped you from the game. Nope. You can okay. really move around. Cool. Yep. Perfect. I just assumed that that would drop me. Um, nope. This is a pretty legit uh, little website here. New remote. That's still quite loud. Um, um, also in settings, you should enable the uh, sticky card pop-up for your stream. Where's that one? It should be... Keep zoom cards um, on stream. Yeah, keep zoom cards on screen. Checkbox under oh, card preview zoom. You check it and it undoes that. What? Huh? Yeah, now it broke it. Oh, um, you do need to hit update profile on the bottom of the settings screen to save your settings. That's probably what you're having issues with. It It is still a website. No, 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 no. It, it, it was enabled and checking the oh. box disabled it. Oh, until okay, I hit weird. update, which re-enabled it. Anyway, that's okay. my round. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, wish I had a little more there, but you know, what do you do? So hedge fund, hedge fund install. That's interesting. And that's that's what we got. All right. Start my turn. Yep. So mill, mill two and draw one. Mill a quick mill progenitor. So you're on the super virus zone. That's pretty cool. Um. Hmm. Max, by the way. Uh. Turn begins, trash two, draw one. I think we're just gonna check out your server. Uh, no actions? You wanna? It's all the wall. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna let you keep it, I think. Yeah, I don't wanna pay three trash. Um, and we'll run HQ. No actions. Access. Um, <laughs> my <laughs> mm. probably worth trashing, but I have other actions <laughs> I want to do, so I'm gonna do this. So, three is for mentor, which is the money bit, and earthrise is the okay, so. so yeah, for mentor gets a virus counter every turn. And then I can crack it for, uh, by spending a click, and then gain two for each virus counter on it. Okay. Um, I think that's fine. Uh, okay, draw for turn. Um... One. Okay. You know. Yep. Pretty um, good. Um. Two is HQ. 
and three. Advance the ice, gaining two. two. All right, yeah. Okay. Start turn. I will draw. Um, I guess Earthrise first, then Max, then take clicks. Um, let's see what I got. Labor rights, non Korea in the yard. Hmm. Labor. Okay, so you discarded one of your recursion bits and super virus program. Okay, console. Yeah. We're gonna go credit. Sure. Credit. Sure. Throw an imp down. Sure. We're gonna get on in R and D. You got it. No action. Hmm. We'll trash that. Well, in turn, discarding MK Ultra. All right. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, start turn. I will draw a card off of my asset, and then uh, click one draw. Two. And then click three. Hmm. Yeah. And then I'll go ahead and uh discard one. Okay. Good to hear the volumes right. Start turn. Earthrise. Max. Take clicks. So we're down a botulist, down another knob key. Okay. There's two other consoles out. Okay, this is pretty cool. Okay. We'll crack from enter. Sure, you've got some money. Six bucks. Install simul chip. Okay. Oh, cookbook. Okay. We'll run HQ. Hortum. So that's gain one and end the run currently. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll um we'll fire the simul chip. We'll grab botulus, throw it on the Hortum. Okay. Put a virus counter on it yeah. from cookbook. Yep. Counter ice. Um and I will break just the and the run sub. Okay. Uh, break subroutine. And the run. And then done. All right. Fire on broken then... routines. I gain a buck. And yep. then. And then continue. <clears throat> Lucy, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Accessing one. No actions. Ooh. Hello. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll trash him to steal SDS. Yeah, I, I can't beat you winning on the one in five. Um, and I discard one. Um, that's fine. <laughs> Ditch daily cast because I don't need money. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle. Two cards into the deck. Turn start. Um, draw. K 
fucking a buck. And... Still don't know what your game plan is, really. All I've seen is wall to wall in Advanced Boys and an STS, which doesn't really tell me anything. Just just a decent five three for Whalen. Hmm. Um. Let's go. Um. And I'll 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 just say that th this is the deck. The Hive Mind Max copied the, the, shamelessly. The card card. moment I saw a Progenitor Cookbook, that was yeah. It's it's not a secret. Um, it's just a really really awesome deck, and I really like it. Um, so props to Pencil, who I believe created it. He either created it or just played it really well. Either way, props to him. All right. Uh, click click. Uh, so install it's all advanced. All right. Start turn. We'll do last of the Earthrise. Trigger max. Take clicks. We trash. Hive mind and daily. Okay. Four credits, four clicks. We got 12 credits, one installed card. Hmm. Big old cat. Think... Ah. <laughs> I think I have to continue setting up here. I still like, have no board presence whatsoever. So we'll do uh, fermenter. Sure. Put a virus counter on it. Um. Simul trip. Yep. Simul trip. <laughs> all right, I get it. Yeah. Um. You have you have all three clone ships. Click for a credit. Um. Yeah. Start turn. Um. <clears throat> Simul trip is perhaps more more powerful even than clone ship because you get a three credit discount if you can. Well, you you have to meet the condition of trashing program. Hostile takeover. All right. Wow, slow advancing the hostile even. Very interesting. Install advance. Okay. I had, right. I had some moves I wanted to do, so... And you made it very awkward. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, hmm. Start turn. Trigger max. Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, man. Hmm. That was a sure gamble and a paperclip. Oh, okay, so you're at paperclip, you're at MK. You are at... So you do not have a code gate breaker down there. You know, it's kind of incredible... You might think, with how powerful Max is with these breakers, that they were designed for Max. No, they're designed for somebody else completely. They just yeah. happen to be, like, the best thing in the universe for Max. Yep. So. Yeah, I think they were designed for... Um, Omar, I believe. Because they're Omar, yeah, because so, they're the conspiracy breakers. Yeah, they, they are named the conspiracy breakers because they're... MK Ultra, Paperclip, and Black Orchestra, all named after uh, <laughs> different government various yeah programs. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. So I've got okay two mem free, so we'll go. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Why is it not letting me play this? Oh, I've only got two credits. Never mind. I'm dumb. Money? I'm dumb. Anything happen uh, if the runner runs out of cards in the stack? No. All right. Gain a credit, then install Hive Mind, putting a virus counter on it. Sure. Um, I will then crack Fermenter for 10, because it gets to count the 
counters that are on it from Hive Mind. Uh huh. Um, and then let's see what do we got here. Um. Yeah, if you don't have a deck, you don't have a deck. That that is the end of what happens if you don't have a deck. Right. Um. We'll just hop in HQ. Let's mm, click. Sure, you encounter an ice. Yep. Uh, break it with. Oh, I guess just I... the one counter, so you get a gain buck. Okay. Come, come on, Jinteki. Well, you gotta. You're not encountering the ice. You can't break it yet. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. Very good. There's like six. Right. <laughs> Remember that. Break there's one. This. Yeah. Um, and then spend a virus counter. Okay. And then leave the gain one. So you're gonna let me fire. Yep. Can you? Uh. Yes. No actions. Um. Okay. Oh no. And just so I'm clear, it is too late at this point to say install imp for my heap. Correct. Because I'm already accessing. Yeah. You needed fine. to do that in the window before approach on the. Okay. On entry. Um, okay. And then before I end the turn, since I have trash to program this turn, uh -huh. um, I think it's probably a good opportunity to use a simul chip. But I feel like I feel like the urge to purge is pretty high for you right now, especially if I install more cards. But I think I'm okay with that. Hmm. Hmm. Could just grab. Ooh, actually, I kind of like that. Play. Um. No, nah, I'll just end turn. It's fine. I'll play it slow. Draw. Um. But yeah, so the Corp will lose if they run out of the deck. But the side effect of that is unless a player is literally building a deck that somehow, like, forces that option, that won't happen. Because if all the cards in the corpse deck are not in the deck, that means all the agendas are somewhere and will mm -hmm. likely have been stolen before that point happens. Yeah. Um, Triple advance. Triple advance, it's yours. Triple advance and pass. Oh man. <clears throat> oh man. Oh. I I bet I know what that is. Um I think that means I probably should get in there pretty soon. Um hmm. Trash your gamble cookbook. Are you still missing? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the, the danger of a runner running out of cards in deck is that if you fail to discard to damage, you, you, you lose. The game is you over. You are dead. Um... Got one open mem. I really wish I didn't lose both of my knob curries already. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the downside of hive mind being two mem. Mm hmm. Um, let's see. Pretty sure I can contest that, or at least force you to read some stuff, but it might not be good enough. Um, it's not lethal yet. I probably let it go one more turn. Um, I think I should just be building up then. Yeah, we'll just um throw a botch list on R and D. 
Sure. And then run it. I will not do anything to contest that. Okay. Um, no action. Okay. That's fine. Um. <laughs> eight bucks, eight trucks. Full mem. Okay. Go HQ. Uh, Counter. And counterize. Yep. Break. Um, and then run. Let me fire. Um. No. Counter. I'm going to break the taller as well. All right. Continuing. Yep. And then Continue. if you want to amp, this is the moment where you'd have to do it. That's a good point. Um, I would have to sack a program to do it, though. Yeah, I'm just letting mm. you know that this is the window for that. So yeah, nothing. Um, no, that's fine. I'll just take the one, one and five. See what I get. Uh, hey, you can keep that. That's fine. And then I'll gain credit. Pass back. Okay. Um. Yeah. Kind of what I thought that was. Hmm. Start turn. Do the thing. Mm hmm I don't think I would have committed again to it, but you put your botulus on R&D, so that's one less. Yeah. Immediate th way in. That's fine. Um, quick one, we'll run it. Approach the ice. Um, Alright. Yeah, it's going to be a paper clip. Okay. And we'll match and break for two. Uh, you are at negative one mem. Oh, that's right. Um, trash the botch list on R&D. Okay. That's fine. Alright, um, so that is broken. Approach second ice. Oh, I off by one on my math. That's all right. Um, that's fine. Uh, res. Okay. Um, I gotta look at the crash cost on a card quick. I think it's four. It's three. Okay. Yes, it's three. I thought. Yeah. I thought. We'll I uh, crack a chip. Okay. Grab the botulus. Uh, host it on the Pharos. Put a virus counter on it. Trash the other Botulus. Okay. Oh, and right. Then, this um, isn't clone chip. Never mind. My math is bad. And then uh, break both the and the runs. So you'll take a tag? I'll take the tag. I 
I mean, yeah. All right, so. So that, and then end the run. Counter off that. Okay, so fire. And fire the keg, yep. All right, um, continue. Let's go. No res. All right. Continue. Anything before access? Um, cut third on the imp, but I know what the card is. I'm just gonna access it. Yep, crash it. All right. Wow. I didn't think I was gonna get in click one actually, but it is impossible for me to actually stop you. Yeah, that's. I mean, free, <laughs> free botulist cycling is pretty nuts, though. Yeah, I need to. I need to burn them. Is what I am doing. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, that's a, that's a pretty good. That's good all. Play. That's all I've got at the mo. Um, um. So I've got a credit tag, which, eh, like cookbook. I guess I want to keep. I don't want to die either. So maybe we just um. Gain a credit. Move tag. Gain a credit. Uh, and then we'll discard. Card. Um, yeah. Oh, gotta hit and turn first. There we go. Okay. Oop. Start turn. Um. And this is not first one. Okay, so and then um yeah. No. There we go. Nice. And you get another plus two from that. Yeah. It's effectively clicking for a credit, but it... But you also up. get an advancement. I do not believe Dakota's looking at the chat. That's... Nope, I don't have the stream open. Yeah, I figured not. So you're free to talk about anything Jens is holding, and I won't know. <laughs> um... Okay, that's cool. I like that card. Um... Let's see... Luke says hi. Hey, Luke. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, you're down. Dirty laundry, dirty. Okay, you, you lost your dirty your laundry. That's fine. I'm like, soup's broke. Oh, but with my dirty laundry's in that one. Dang. Um. <clears throat> Let's see here things I can do but I don't know I think um, for right now I need to draw a card gain a credit gain a credit and then gain a credit and I'll discard two fine back to you okay so that means mine is going to be I have to do this in a stupid way, but it's fine. I don't see the problem here. Okay. Okay. Turn. Mill two zero one. Hey, there's a card I was looking for. That's cool. Um, we'll go gain a credit. Pure gamble. <laughs> First one of the game. Um, hmm. Six left in stack. God, how do I? Think I, I want to wait a couple turns for that. How on earth do I keep you out? No, okay, no, I, I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna. I've had worse. 
Oh. And install generator. Sure. And turn, discarding one. Okay, so then this is... If I triple advance, I'll be at one credit. Oh, that sucks. Um, okay, so we have to... Okay, okay. This is... Mass com for 10. That's pretty good. Okay. It delays me a turn, but I can't stop you without the cash. You're out. <clears throat> okay. Can you stop me with the cash, though? I think the question. so. All right. That is the last of my deck. Another botulus. And finally, Black ah, Orchestra. Okay. Well, Black Orchestra finally hit. I mean, it's literally all of my deck, so <laughs> it had to show up. It had no choice. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Not worry about that just yet. That, 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 that. Mm. Two for that, that brick, that, and then I have one more card. Okay. Do that. Click it at run. That actually seems like it might work. Yeah. We'll install from enter onto progenitor. Right. Oh, whoops. Actually, I have to mm, this... do this a little differently. Well, it doesn't count against memory limit if you host it that way, so you're fine, but it. Right, but it won't host. Oh wait, no, there we go. Host an installed program. There we go. Never mind. There you go. I was gonna say it should work. There we go. Um, okay, and then put a counter on it. From I don't know why it has no counters on it. It, it should have two. Should have two counters on it. It even says place to counter on it. It might just be like the card stacking causing the counter to bug. Well, yeah. I, I do intend to click it for eight, so we'll see what it gives. We'll see me. what it gives you, and then you can just adjust. Adjust. So just four. adjust that up four because yeah. It, you should have yeah that was one and two okay three we're gonna throw down the amakua on the oh. progenitor oh that's a lot bigger than okay all right yep um and then we're gonna run your remote we're just gonna see what happens uh, first so, encounter. Encounter Aket. I will break for two. Okay. Encounter Pharos. Um, I'm just gonna spend all my botulist counters. Sure. So. Oh, oh, oh I'm not encountering it. Uh, oh, encounter ice. There we go. All right, break, break. With that, yes. Break that. Break that. There okay. we go. Continue. 
Continue. All right. Now what do you got? Another Hortum. Um, so Amaku is not quite strong enough here. Okay. That's that's good. But um, but I do have You hit the Black Orchestra on the Yeah. So when I encounter I can install Black Orchestra for 3 and then break for 3. Which is not bad. Could also just install um Botulus another card, and... Botulus, or even Tranquilizer. Actually, no. So I think you can re res it if I Tranquilizer it. Um, <laughs> um, what a what a weird. It won't yeah. it won't let me look at. Uh, whatever. I I already know the card, but I can't look at Black Orchestra. There it is. Okay, installing Black Orchestra. Um, overriding. God, Hive Mind. I mean, you've got. I've, I feel like I've gotten as much value out of it as I need to. So. It's that. Yeah, it's that. I'm or the, overwrite Hive Mind. That or the Paperclip, because the Hive Mind is making the Turtle better, but it depends on. How much I really need Turtle in the first place, but. Okay. Yeah. So black, um. So black match and here. break. Yep. Okay. Yeah, no action. And then... and access. Yep. Is this not the card? Oh! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh! Hi. Urtica, Cypher. What's up? Got me. So what was that? Six net damage. Oof. Yep. Damn. Uh, I did have the... My hand is like Clearinghouse SDS... Uh, NGO front, like I have every option to put in that server. Dang. So, so it's just like, what do I think you'll do? <laughs> Dang, but that's a that's a heck of a mind game because when it gets up to four or more counters, it's like both cards are lethal. Lethal ones, lethal if you run, and ones if you don't. And like you, you, you know, it's like which bluff do you call? Which one do you, you know, or like? Yeah. Well, and something I realized, too, because my, my game plan was always to basically just mill through my entire deck. Um, because then I was going to Rebirth into another runner, and then I had uh, Labor... Or, sorry. Labor uh, Rights to Shuffle Labor back. Rights. Yep, to shuffle back more Labor Rights and then more Clone Chips. And just, like, keep, you know, installing from the heap all over everywhere I need to go. Right. But that would never let me have enough cards in hand to make value out of I've Had Worse... Or survive like a grindy game like this kind of turned out to be. So. Yeah, and like I, once you got that that SDS, my if you didn't steal that, my plan was just to install advance advance it like mm -hmm. th that the turn you stole it. Um, once you stole that, I decided it was time to swap over to the the asset kill stuff, and I needed like I went with the clearinghouse first. To make sure that the threat was real, and then went with the the cipher second to. Yeah, no, that actually, it makes a lot of sense. Um, I probably should have seen the cipher coming, but I was yeah. just so focused on but the clearinghouse. So I was like, again, yeah, this is this is easy. I just gotta go kill his asset. Yeah, my my, my hand is my hand is overwriter clearinghouse SDS NGO. So I like any trap <laughs> oh. I want. Yeah. Any type yeah, of that... trap I want, it's there. Oh man. This deck probably would want to just focus centrals at that point, I think, and just. Oh. But like, how how do you know you're not just scoring out five threes, right? Like. Right, and then the. Uh, tough call. I guess you didn't see the ice on R and D. Um, you get buy it heavy with botulus, but. Um. See, so yeah, if you. I can't res it without the money. There's a way to just reveal all cards, I think. Um. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> oh, hey, that's a cool piece of ice. Here for the biggie. Um, Heck yeah. So this costs either seven for you on your best day, or or um, three virus counters. Three virus <laughs> counters, which you can't do. <laughs> but yeah, that's not that's not something I can keep doing. Well, like the big thing is, I assume you're going to be medium running at me or conduit running. Um. Yeah, that, you, that was my end game. You want to be repeatedly doing that, so I threw Orion there as the, the yeah. like you you aren't able to do that for long. 
And the only recourse I have to that really, because uh, Tranquilizer doesn't really stop that if you have enough counters on it, it just Correct. causes it to res, um, would be Chisel, but it would need eight counters <laughs> to be able to crash it, so not likely to get that high without or- you purging. Orion's old as hell. This is uh, fun. Yeah, it's a cool piece of ice that never really saw play. It's It's got one really big weakness, and that's that it has all three ice subtypes. Yeah. So it can be broken by any type of icebreaker, basically. So, all right, well, uh, but that was a pretty good, pretty good game one. That was fun. Yeah, let's swap side. Wait, no, yeah, swap side. So, rejoin. Yeah. Leave game. Yeah, leave game, and then. Okay, to that. That got it. Did you get it? All right, so making a new game. I'm gonna switch to runner. Yeah. I am going to go with New Runner. All right. So I'm playing as you know, a uh, Tau here who, whenever an agenda is scored or stolen, you may swap two pieces of ice. So mm. Whenever the, a corp card ability causes the runner to spend or lose at least one during a run, gain one. No once per turn on that. All right. I'll take the mulligan. I think I will as well. This hand's like fine, but I want a little bit more out of it. And that is what I'm talking about. Okay. Heck yeah. No, that's much better. Um, Hedge fun. <laughs> yep. Um, the money is real. Stall on R&D. Uh-huh. Stall on HQ. This oh. is the opening. There's the sound turned on for all of a sudden. There's no opening more uh, common Hedge than fun, one. Ice, ice, baby. Yep. So let's go draw one. Draw two. Get paid. Nice. <laughs> All right. Start turn. I'll draw for one. Ooh. Um, install for two. Sure. And install for three. All right. Um. Start up. One is a draw. Ooh. Oh, nice. Getting this early is uh, nice. Tempo. Um, three. I'm gonna go. Tread lightly, server one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Fine. Okay. Mm. Res? Yeah! <laughs> Marushita! Ooh, yeah! She didn't do anything! Super kill Rashida. Sorry, Rashida, you gotta go. Um, I decided, like, yeah. Uh, one thing, we talked about Tread Lightly, and when we talked about it, we actually didn't mention one last piece of it. Mm. And that's the one influence, <laughs> which makes it. A, it is one influence. That's actually pretty cool. Which makes it a much more. Okay, that's that's good. All right, start turn. No Rashida. <laughs> um, draw. Sure. Gain a credit. Government subsidy. Also one influence. <laughs> also one influence. I'm gonna draw. Gonna draw. Daily casts and creative commission. Okay. I I will just have cash. 
Mm. I guess so will you. Install on server one. On server one. Advance. Okay. Start turn game two. I'll draw one. Draw two. Might as well try it. You probably block me here, but the book author. Let's let's make you spend. each piece of ice. Yeah, let's make you spend. Okay. Um. <laughs> matter which one I res? Does it? Mm, not really. Um, so I will not res the first one. Sure. Continue the approach. I'll res the second one. Alright, just huge get the fuck out energy. Alright. Um... Yeah. Uh, I encounter. Uh, you make me. So you spend three. You're forced to, and then I gain one, which it did not. It did not do trigger. So I'll just click my dent to do it. Is it a may? No, it's not a may. Okay. Either way, uh, fire the sub. Oh, okay, credit gain not implemented. You can okay. Game net is literally just not implemented. Got it. Oh, yeah. Okay, there it is. I there, see. There's a note when you hover over the card. That actually makes sense. That seems like it'd be hard to program. Um, good to note. Uh, so you're at three credits, which is important in case you want to actually score your gain seven credits thing or whatever. I'll pass. Okay. Um, hmm. At least it, for your sake, I hope it's gain seven credits on... Uh... Credit, credit, hedge fund. Oh, all right. Um, let's take a draw. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Um, figured we had to have one in here somewhere in the top soon. Uh, Word, but that's okay. Ace up, hey. Pawn shop. And... To you. Okay. Uh, advance. 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 Score. Oh, boy. Not um... the gain seven, so... Okay, um, we're going to... That's why I had to hedge fund last turn. Trigger Pantograph. Gain one. Install a card. And then... Hmm. Yes. Swap there. My toll booth. Put on R and D, man. Yes. The, the 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 assumption for me is, what exactly is installing this program face down do? Uh, Aesop has at the beginning of your turn, you may trash one of your installed cards to gain three. When this is trashed, install it face down. So, I will trash it again. <laughs> Um, thinking about timing on this turn. But yeah, I figure, like, I'm going to be able to move it off R&D by the time I want to, like, run R&D a bunch. So, anyway, start turn. Um. See, what, what you, you don't know is that these are all toe booths, so it doesn't really matter where you put them. Okay. 
Um, click one. I really like the art for Tau. Excellent. Yeah. Click one, I want to go... Can't tell if it just has a bunch of zippers, or if those are, like, probably cyberpunk, <laughs> cybernetic stuff. But they that, look kind of like zippers. I always, like, looking at this art, I assumed it was, like, a, kind of like a help, like a helper skeleton. Yeah, it's like an exoskeleton is what it looks like. Um, for them to be able to move. Telepresence uh, magician, so he does, like, action at a, at a distance stuff, I guess. <clears throat> um, hmm. I'm going to HQ, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, SMC, enough credits. Um, yeah, I'll res. Okay, so you're going to force me to... Which is why I did the overclock here. So let's go ahead and... Spend two, and I want to grab. And then. And Golo. I don't need to do much. I only need to break top sub on this. So. Yeah, the bottom one doesn't do anything if you have more than six. So let's go ahead and break. Runner loses three, and I will let you fire. Fire unbroken. Okay. Um. I will continue in. Okay. Uh, no further action. Mm. Hmm. 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 Uh. Hmm. 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 Getting in again. Okay. Counter. It would be nice if I had a... I have seven credits. We're good. Yep. Fire unbroken. Pass. No further action. Hmm. Oh, you got it. Got the agenda. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I will trigger... Pantograph. Uh, we'll install another Harbinger. Uh, that was not with Pantograph's ability, even though we're in the middle of this. Hold on. Oh. Um. Just uh, uh, give yourself undo. a click. Click Back. undo. Click should be. What? Oh no. Because that's gonna undo the whole run. It also didn't... No, it didn't put it in my hand, either. Oh, yeah, it's it's in the, like... Oh, no. Oh, God. Vag state. Oh, man. Oh, All right, no. So put I, it, put I it back in your hand. I can't touch it now. It's face down. Oh, you can't even put it in your hand? No, it won't, it won't grab. It has, uh -huh. no, it has no options. Um, oh, God. I um, grab it. I can't touch it. It is uh -huh. completely untouchable to me. Um... Can I? Nope, it doesn't. Because, like, I can trash the other Harbinger, but I can't trash the. Damn it. Oh, drag it? Okay. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So. Thank I'm, you, chat. I'm just going to install it and give myself the click back. That's fine. That should have been installed for free. Um, yep. Oh, boy. I... So, okay, so that was Pantograph, and I got Tower Trigger. Yeah, I, I passed on Tau Trigger with the, okay. the current setup. Um, then I want... Uh, gain a credit and VRcation for a full grip, please. That's pretty good. Yeah. So you can't kill me. But kill you? No. 
Um, <laughs> Come. But no, I didn't want to swap any of these. I want to leave our HQ that open at the mo. Draw one. Because HQ seems uh, like it's got some goods in it. One of the secrets Ooh. is that I am I don't uh, other than like when we do the streams on here, I don't do a lot on Jinteki. I feel. I feel like it's always difficult to get things to work on Jinteki uh, for me. Anyway, start a turn. Pawn shop. Do the thing. Um, hmm. It is interesting. Unlike most of the, like, I guess, digital card games where they simulate the actual cards, you know, you have that kind of like feedback of dragging the card and it kind of wiggles and moves and stuff. This is very, you know, very still and everything's just kind of placed on a grid and yeah. locked in, never moves. Okay, so we want to go... Pick one diesel. No diesel, no fire. Click to... Dirty Laundry HQ. HQ. Um, it's the one I know yeah. it will work on. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the counter. Um, break. The runner loses three and let the other sub fire. Yep. Um, oh, sorry. No further action. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. Um, Pantograph, gain one, install a card, choose to install. Um, Go with Swamp Ice. I can block off HQ now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will run Server 1. Running Server 1? Yep. Let's see what's up. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a combo with this card that leads to an effective instant kill as long as you have enough cards in hand. Where's the wraparound? Seven strength barrier? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright. Uh... You can break it. <laughs> with your Angolo. <laughs> Only takes two pumps. Encounter ice. No, I will not make a code gate. You can fire out subs. Get out. Uh, Creative Commons. Let's go. All right. Turn. Hmm. <laughs> Install server one. Oh. Gain a credit. Gain a credit. And full res daily quest. All right. Ah. Start turn. Pawn shop. Um, you have a second wraparound that's a pain in the ass. Upgrades. What are you playing that are upgrades? <laughs> what the hell is that? If you'll note, the, the orange border on the card shows that I played it last turn. Yeah. So what that tells you is that I forgot to res my daily quest <laughs> previous turn. I well, it would have changed the outcome in the sense that I would have I would have broke through. 
Yeah, I wanted you to run the daily quest, and I forgot to res it. So instead, you ran HQ and got my other agenda. Whoops. Whoops. Um. Well. All right, counter wrap around. Making it a coke get. Ten strength and break. Ten strength and break. Dang. Continue to pass. I'll res. Turnpike. Sure, I lose one. Um, you gain one. You'll I'll gain a one. Um, match and break with uh, Bugalter for, for, like for zero, for I think. One. Okay. Yep. And then. That's fine. Um, if you're going to fire a. I'm not going to res anything, so you can continue on access. Okay, access server. Um, let's see what the weird thing is first. Calibration testing. No, thank you. Daily quest. No, thank you. Um. Um. Install credit. VRcation to draw. Dang, that's good. And we'll discard pawn shop backup. Okay. Start turn. Draw one. Um. <laughs> yeah. Install server one. And advance. Back to you. <clears throat> Gain my cash. Um. Let's, uh. Hey. Let's begin. Here comes the R&D pressure. Yep. Counter. Yep. Uh, break to loses three. Allow the other sub to fire. Yep. Pass and continue. Pass. Access. No further action. No action. Counter. Um. Do it again. All right. Counter. Um. One to break the loose. Three. Okay. Seven bucks. Yep. So. Fine. Pass. Continue. Access. All right. You get two cards this time. Saw the first one. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to go... Creative Commission for Click 4 Pass. Okay. Start turn. You're able to well, hear one credit, so I don't even know if you're able to score whatever that is. That's why I didn't contest it. That's reasonable. You're extremely broke, and there's no reason to put myself at actual zero to contest that when I have the R&D. That is mm. Princess Space Kitten. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. They are a cyber cat. 
And a princess. Yes. Gain credit. <laughs> yep. Uh, you can score it. Gain a credit. Sure. Advance. And turn. Discard one. Um, there is no reason not to do this. <laughs> yep. Encounter. Break sub one. Access. You get three cards. Pay two to trash that. Pay five to steal that. Dang. Yeah, I was pretty low on options. This yeah. was a... This was an NGO. Okay, that that's part of the the trick there is that if I like because you have that advancement counter, mm -hmm. you could do a weird thing where you gain eight off it. Um, I just even if that was like another um, copy of remastered, you would have had to spend the remastered counter to score it on the follow up. So yep. I wasn't going to contest. Well, and so honestly, I was hoping to leave it there for a bit because if I can get you to believe that that's an NGO. Um, I could do it again with a re-education, and then if I can start my turn with that with two counters on it, it can kill me. advance, advance, counter, yeah, score it, and then kill you. Yeah, uh, so that was like my only out that game. You want to find the card so that we can quick... We talked about it a little bit, but if you find the card that is the kill side... Can I... If you type it in chat... Uh, um, I don't remember the damn name of Neuro it. Spike. Oh, no, I gotta capitalize it. Nero Spike. There it is. There it is. So yeah, uh, Nero Spike deals X net damage where X is how many agenda points you scored on print and on those. And then Re-Education, this one here. When you score Re-Education, add any number of cards from HQ to the bottom of RD and draw that many. The runner adds the same number from Grip to the bottom as well. So with mm -hmm. a five-card hand, or like a, probably a four-card, you, you spend four down, I send four down, you get replacements, I don't. <laughs> Yep, and then I just play my last click, play Neuro Spike. Which Boom. either you kept in hand or you dug for. You probably kept mm -hmm. in hand, but yeah, yeah, you. Uh... Um, it, it, it. I was surprised at how weak the ice felt in this deck. Um, Toll booth's obviously real, but like everything else, Tau, was just nothing. Tau made Toll booth like, you know, it, I didn't care about it. I ran into it once and then I moved it wherever I wanted it. Yeah. Um. Well. And I was hoping to not even really care about the ice stopping you and just, like, use it as a tax, but it wasn't even taxing for you. No, well, no, like, because, like, Turnpike's one to break total because of Bugalter. White Space, as long as I have cash, is one to break. And Wraparound's only good here because I haven't drawn Paperclip. Well, I, so Turnpike I mean... actually costs two and gains me one because of the one encountered ability. Oh, true. It, it, it will always do that. So it's a little so, bit better than that. It's a little bit better than that. But, but yeah, still, otherwise, most everything else is blank. But like costing me one, that's called pop up window. You know? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. um, and I'm holding, I finally drew the paperclip on the last turn. So, no, well, it's funny. Pop up window would have actually been much better on R&D there because I would actually gotten money from it. Yeah. Everybody loves pop up window. Everybody loves pop up window. I'm worried about white space just not being the zero strength on it just being a little too low but yeah i decided i wanted to try it out here it seemed like it would fit because of the first sub um, yeah. because i mean lose three is pretty harsh it is and if you get a credit back for it like th that's pretty good value on face check but it's n almost never going to fire more than once in the game <laughs> and once the runner has a decoder it's pretty also, darn cheap to break i know we talked about it as hard to evaluate really liked pantograph this game um, yeah um, seems like it did a lot of work for you. Like, just free Harbingers or free, like, because it's click compression and, like, a, and a little bit of money. The problem yeah. is, obviously, if you don't get it early, it's garbage and useless. Right. It might be something that's worth, like, you can't overwrite a console. That's actually a, a you know. Uh, you, you actually can now. Can... They, they, made, they made a change to the rules. Oh, they did? Well, yep. I was going to say. So now I was Runner saying... is able to reinstall over their console with a different console. That's nice to know. I was going to say it doesn't ma that doesn't matter in this list because I can pawn shop it away and overwrite mm -hmm. it better. Yeah. Um, the problem problem there is don't know what I would want for like a late game 
Yeah. What would I swap into, um, right? Because, like, um, hmm. if I go into cards and we just search... I don't think I can search console. and Yeah, you can't search console. So I need to go uh, type hardware and then format standard. Like, I don't know what I would want to be swapping into as a later game console because obviously there's a point where it just stops working. Yeah. Um, um probably out of faction, I think. Yeah, well, like just as a rule, like Shaper has never been like great like sh sh like both Anarch and Criminal have had like multiple format warping consoles. Mhm. Mm um I guess in, in Criminal, it's, they printed Desperado and it w existed for an eternity. Yeah. Uh, but, like, you think of Anarch, like, even to their default console these days, a patchwork is very good. Um, yeah, but like, which I don't think patchwork's even the, the, the default anymore, which tells you how good their consoles are. Right. Um, but, like... But, like, Turntable, Seifer, Grimoire, like, all insane. Yeah. Seifer was uh, unreasonable. Uh, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. R Rumor Mill is the name of that. Uh, uh, ooh, maybe Super Corridor. Is your console? Forgot about that one. Come on, Rumor Mill. It's a uh, plus two mem, plus one max hand size, and then if you have the same money as the corp, you gain two. Then you return. Yep. So, pretty. There's there's Rumor Mill. It's got the cat on it. And then if you have like mem sticks, mem sticks is references Princess Space Kitten. Who still has not appeared in a card, I believe. I hope they never do. I think it's funny. It's probably better for them to be a mystery. I think it's, I think it's funnier that way. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well, want to swap over again? Yeah, let's do it. Um, okay, uh, let, me, let me play a really terrible corp against you. It's going to be great. Sounds good. Uh... Games made. Okay. Uh, there it is. Oop. Ding dong. All right. All right. Hey, um, Adam. Yep. Yep. So safety first. Neutralize all threats. Find the truth. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's PE it's just time. PE. All right. Uh, hmm. No thanks. Hmm. That's way better. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do it. Cool. Start. Um. You know it. You'll <laughs> love it. Hey, the. <laughs> The classic. So, uh, PE, whatever an agenda scored or stolen, net damage. Um, Adam starts is a non-normal faction runner, not one of the three, their own faction. And it starts with three of, of these directives. There's four total printed. You pick three. You, mm -hmm. you, you pick the same three because there's one. Yeah, one, one of them is quite bad. You, you so don't, you you don't pick, pick all. Three. Look, everyone, the name always be running is a good mantra. It's a good idea. It's a bad card. Um, yeah. But yeah, so safety first is you have minus two hand size, but you draw up at the end of turn if you're not at it. Uh, neutralize all threats. You are forced to trash the first card you touch, but you get an uh, HQI. So two axes on HQ. Uh, find the truth. When you draw, you always reveal the draw. But whenever you run, you get a look at R and D. Um, so you have a lot of better pressure and knowledge of central servers, but you do have drawbacks of like perfect knowledge for the corp, and uh, that three hand size can be a bit of a problem in certain matchups. Install, install, install. What are you naming on boom? Um, oh, right, I have to pick a nice, um, da, 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 da. I think it's where you're running on four, right? Like, what are you, right? Or are you running on four, you know? Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just 
gain a credit because I don't want to die. Good try. I was I was going to say in some other instances maybe you run on four, but I don't know two no. cards on f- click four against Jinteki. Yeah. Uh, Logic Bomb is one of the most powerful cards in Adam. It's very cool. You oh just, yeah. You just skip through an ice. It's free. Uh, you lose your turn, but you you know you you do it. Just one last click. Um. Spin Doc draw, that's pretty good. Hmm. Um and Draw once more. It's a lot of draws. Discarding two. All right. Start turn two off daily. Mm-hmm. Let's go click one. Dirty laundry archives. I will use my spin doctor here. Oh. Uh, on two face down cards. Fascinating. Uh, no thanks. Um, Tells me that uh, likely or slightly <laughs> flooded on agendas. Anyway. Or potentially horribly flooded. Um, can I access? No. I will okay. use find the truth, look at top of R&D. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Shit. Damn. Um, not really any way for me to get at that. Oh, I bet I know what that has to be then. Uh, you probably do. You can't take that no matter what. I'll install plasticity. Uh, and then I'll click to draw two. Okay. Um. Hmm. Did you literally see the world's trip. safest agenda on the top of the deck? Hmm. The world's safest agenda. Anyway, I'm going to draw the world's safest agenda. If you weren't PE, I could have got it. Yeah. I probably died of the punitive though. Ooh, I'd say review. I see. All right. <laughs> Click to draw two. Yeah, so plasticity here. That'll be actually quite helpful for you. That's a really big condition. Yeah, actually... It was very like hard for you to... A lot. Well, like, again, the Obakata is almost freaking impossible for you to contest in a lot of circumstances. Yeah. Um, but... Not here. <laughs> I mm. think if I would have left the two agendas in archives... You had two cards in hand. I think we would have been actually. Hmm. Maybe you might have been able to kill me. I would say I. I actually. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that part of it. But that's okay. That's funny. All right. How do I want to do this? Um. Oh man, what do I want to do here? <laughs> where where are you showing up? 
Yes, this is this is hoard. Um, start by running server two. You got it. No action there. I'll go to the top of R and D. Okay, it's a sting. Ah, take two net damage. Earth rise um, and multi threader. Okay. Um, and we'll just uh. Throw down a multi threader and gain a buck. Sounds good. Start turn. Um, click draw. Now I have plus one hand size. Very nice. Um, hmm. Thinking about money. Got my money on my mind and my mind on my money. And reveal Hanse, review Obokata, Snare, Trick of Light, Urtica Cipher. Okay. I think it's better in the coming turns that you know that I both have the 5 3 and the trick. Yeah. I think I want you to know this. <laughs> I just want you to know. That's, that's terrifying, I, I want you to know so that you know that I know you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> in like a turn when I install advance advance and you have to guess. Oh my goodness. So that you know both are possible. <laughs> all, right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. Click the draw. Uh-huh. Um we'll do dirty on archives. You got it. No action. Get in there. Look at the top of R and D. Okay. Um <laughs> two clicks left. Two clicks. So you're um, still holding a memory diamond and a gamble. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll play the memory diamond. Cool. Oh, actually, I want to do that in the other order because I'm dumb. If you don't mind. That makes sense. I understand the reason behind wanting to do this in the other order, so you can actually play. Do the, both, both the things. Uh, does that work? Put it, drag it to your hand. Uh, where is it? It's in the, it's in the fake area. It's in right. the fake area. Come on, here we go. Okay, okay. Sure, gamble. <laughs> Memory diamond. We'll do oh. this in the correct order. We did it. Successful playing of cards. So now I'm back up to a five card hand size. Uh. I need you to know this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the bluff can only function if you know that uh, both options are legal. And now I will so put you cruel. into the, the Yomi chamber where you must decide. You're so cruel, Jens. Draw. Hello? Okay. Um, those are both good cards. Those are both good cards. Um... I'll draw one more. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, career fair. Out the data folding. Okay. And then we'll throw down a Rizeki. Sounds good.
Which one is it? Oh. I thought you were just going to install <laughs> Advance Advance again. <laughs> <laughs> And then... Ooh. Make a server. Interesting. All right. It's our turn. Gain two. Yep, data folding and... Uh... And Rizeki. Yeah, okay. Do you still have two unused MU? Yep. For now. I have... Four of six unused. Right, but... But, for now. For now. Hmm. Do I play Breakers? I'm pretty sure I do. I don't think so. I think I do. Um. Draw two. Sure. Okay. Cool. I like that card. Um, uh, I forget even what is in this deck. Hold on. <laughs> Let me check the list. Important questions. Right, right, okay. Okay. I see, I see. Okay. That. Um, so I'm not too concerned about that card, so I think we're just going to continue to set up here. Um, gain credit. and turn. Ooh. Hi. Ooh, that one I actually am a little scared of. It's time for the business. The House of Knives. That new art is so good. So good. So, and then Trash's Dirty Laundry did that not damage. Fine. See you. Okay. So, turn. Game my three. Draw my two. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. Now we're talking. Docklands. Sure. Well, we knew that was there. Yep. You want um, it? You got it, my friend. Yeah. We'll just uh, compile on HQ then. Okay. Okay. Counter ice. I will install a program from my stack. Da, 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 da. I think even if with the black orchestra, you can't. F no, you can full break here. You'll just have to spend real money. Oh wait, I was thinking of the wrong breaker here. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, but that's fine, though. That's fine. So I think what I'm going to do... Mm -hmm. um, and that's at the end of the run, it goes to the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we'll grab RNG key. <laughs> And then we'll break with Logic Bomb, or I guess bypass with Logic Bomb. Okay, so you'll lose your click. I lose my last click, but I get through. Okay. Continue. No further actions. And access. Come and then we'll trigger Find the Truth first. On the top of RNG. Okay. I'll fire RNG key. Um, Let's see. So I know you're holding Snare. I know you're holding Trick of Light. I know you're holding 
Um, is that it? I think that might be it. Okay. Um, I'll guess zero. Nope. Okay, right, that's fine. Um, I cannot <laughs> feel this, so I will not. The ultimate and defense. Yeah. Ah, dang, that's a good point. I, I, I saw I had four cards. I thought I was safe, but turns out if four you, is not safe. If you got the key, you would have had enough to steal that, but... Yeah, I could have drawn off the key. The world's safest agenda strikes again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this agenda cannot be stolen. Hmm. All right. Howdy. Turn. So that might actually be the 5 3. Because you're holding Trick of Light, you just advance off your trap and get it. You have um, solved for X if. Uh... <laughs> let's see. If that is indeed. The heist that you're probably holding there. Mm, probably a century fighting guess. Oh, you have 16 credits. Are you so rich? <laughs> I've played Dang. two copies of uh, the, 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 the review, Hansei Review. Yeah, the Hansei Review, and two gifts, I guess, and a hedge fund. <laughs> Played a bunch of money. Making bank. Make the bank. Um... Let's see. So if it is... What I think it is, and I need to make sure that I have plenty of cards upon access. Okay. So click one, draw two. Sure. Um. Let's see. I kind of want to just play that. Sure. Then. Oh, multi. Multi turn into we'll... spider. Okay. Logic bomb. Sure. And then four will run server five. Ooh, but if it is a Nancy though. But Ooh. if it is a Nancy though. Damn. Because, yeah, cause, so unlike Femme Fatale, which would bypass a Nancy without taking damage, uh, Logic the Bomb only works when I'm encountering it, and Correct. if I bypass it while encountering it, I don't bring any of the subs Correct. during my encounter, and I take through damage. Man, this agenda is so un untouchable. <laughs> it's insane. It's completely def perfectly defensive. Oh, God, this hurts. Defensive. I've got no recourse here. I mean, I guess I can just Logic Bomb to prevent you from dealing one more, drawing a card. Rearranging? But yeah, it was logic bomb. Ugh. That hurts. Um. Hmm. <laughs> the world's safest agenda strikes again. God, it's this invincible. agenda. This Com one agenda. Completely invincible. There's a reason this card was on a, the, like, restricted list where you can only play one card on the restricted list for, like, years. Yeah. To be uh, honest, I was surprised when it came off. Agreed. I think it's still <laughs> like really. It's still hard pretty to insane. Do anything about. It's like my favorite Genteki agenda, so I'm happy they didn't get rid of it. But, um, you know what? I think I'm just let this one fire. Let's go. Um, I'll take in a, a spider to the face. Okay. Um. Hit you with a uh, house of knives as well. Oh, house of knives. All right. Yep. Range top five. I mean, I'm not going to die. So if this is not, if this, if this is any other agenda, if I look at it, I'll die. Ooh, ooh. I am pretty confident though in my call.
can draw one for two. I probably should do that. Hmm. Would you like to draw a card? I'm, I'm checking. Are you still doing your five? I'm doing my five. So, okay, yeah. I, I was thinking this is the spider, but no. Actually, multi-threader is spider. Multi-threader? Multi-threader. Uh, Power oh. have two ra brains running in parallel. Oh, man, yeah. Um, totally. But uh, we want, like... What do I want to draw on the next turn? I'm I'm doing some math, and I think the answer is. Oh god, how am I ordering? Is this going bottom to top or top to bottom? I, I do don't not know. Know how this is ordered? Okay, well, I I would assume it's bottom to top, like you're playing with cards. I should tell you. So prompt. I think I do it this... It just says move next, which is... Mm -hmm. Okay, it actually asks for confirmation. That's good. Done. Okay. I will draw one card. I'll draw a card. Um, And continue? And take three? Yeah, so continue past ice. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll we'll look at the the agenda that I cannot steal. Okay. I'll trigger find the truth. Okay. I will, will not steal. Enter. Okay, so then if I'm right. Oh, God, never mind. Hold on, I did that the wrong order. Yep, that's fine. It's you target the opposite of what I want to be targeting. Okay, zero done. I'm just gonna let it resolve and then I'm gonna undo click. And then we're gonna, oh my god, stop it because it was in. Oh, it was another, it's position. in the other zone. So I tried to, anyway, ah. I'm doing everything wrong on purpose here. Anyway. That's all right, all right. Let's try this one more time. Trick of light. Target you. Move okay. to. Target you. Score. And game. Damn. God. Woo. That deck's got some teeth. That is the idea, is that everything in this deck has teeth. Man. Sting is a lot of teeth. Sting is quite good. Sting is very offensive and defensive. It's just, it's a very good 3-1. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I. I wish I would have had anything to deal with Anansi there. Right. You, you. The best you could have done would have been a logic bomb pass to not. But like even even with a breaker, I still take the three. Oh, I guess I have to break it all. Then I'll take the three. Oof. Yeah. That's a that's a, that's a rough one. Yeah. You needed the like. I think it might have been. <laughs> I think the the move for RNG key was a little too aggressive, perhaps. But there was nothing. There was no other breaker that I wanted to install. No, I, I just mean playing it. Like I, oh. don't, I don't know why you ran HQ there at all, because you knew HQ was an agenda you can't possibly steal, a snare that could kill you, and like and a trick of light and, and two unknowns. I think at that point, like that's a good point. That's like, a good point. HQ, I probably didn't need to run HQ there. HQ at that point was like. Uh, hyper stacked against you and you knew a good chunk of it whereas yeah. if you if you had that still for this run you at least could have broken a nazi and like tried to contest that's true that's true um, i sh definitely should have held on to that one um but i like that I, card. honestly that's i was playing one. it just to try to get any breaker down but yeah i, I definitely should have held it yeah and sadly it's not like test run because it doesn't top the breaker it bottoms yeah the breaker, yeah is... i was kind of playing it more like test run there um, if it's test run, you're in a really good spot because then you. I, I do think I was playing pretty well just by playing de yes. very defensively and sitting back and just letting you do stuff. Because obviously, for a while. I went with I went with Cipher on my install there, mm -hmm. like, 
because it was the middle ground safest play with trigger light in my hand, I knew that I would mm-hmm. be able to use that later to do a weird fast advance. Yeah. Um, and then when I looked at the top five, Sting showed up, and it's like, do the math. You know, like. Sting. Yeah, no, that actually was really cool. I did not expect the fast advance thing to kill me. Yeah. That um, worked out very well. But I like the. Because uh, Urtica is hard to deal with, it's a really nice like thing to hide your counters on for a trick of light. Yeah. So I, I, I think my thought with running HQ is that most of your, or, well, I guess, so, some of your traps are going to be turned off while in your hand. So I figured I could knock them out before you install yeah. them, like with Urtica. But you're 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 right that I had really no no business in running HQ on on that turn. Yeah. It, it also was like. The other thing, too, was that you running HQ with, like, four in hand and a double access, like, even unknown, like, House of Knives plus Snare puts you empty-handed. Any agenda you steal kills you, you know? Like, yeah. Yep. So. It's, that's tough. It, it's, that's pretty tough to yeah, play around. Jinteki is hard to shift around. Yeah. Uh, I wanna, you want to try one more? Yeah, I want to I wanna try one more on corpse side, if you don't mind. I want to do one more with, uh, I have, because I... Ooh, but but if you've got another corp you want to try out that I, I do have one okay. more corp I'd like to try. Alright, let's do that then instead. Alright, cool. Um let me find the button that lets me that's not the button that does anything. That's the button that makes all those things visible <laughs> to you. Uh I hit an X and it didn't do what I wanted. Um okay, so let me I guess let me run as my last runner then. Yeah. Um Cool. I have the so, Okay, so this this deck I have titled uh, "Pain" is just a fancy word for bread. Oh boy! So if that gives you some idea of what I'm going for. Uh, yep, I see personal evolution on the other side. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's mulligan this. This doesn't look like a hand I want. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan it too. This looks like a hand I'm okay with. Yeah, okay, cool. Ooh, ooh. Start game, start turn, okay. All right, so uh, personal evolution on that side. Again, same as what I was just playing. Val over here, start of the bad pub. Uh, that's a free credit during a run, every run. Throw this on HQ. Sure. Um, dude, do go... Gain a credit, gain a credit, and turn. No hedge fund, fortunately. Click one draw. Click two, sure gamble. Click three, zero. Nope. <laughs> Click zero. And then I'll discard another copy of zero. a billion cards. <laughs> Black orchestra and paperclip. <laughs> oh, it's, it's pretty good. Hi. It's pretty good. Hmm. 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 That's not bad. Hmm. Um. Install. Sure. Advance. Hmm. Advance. Uh huh. Back to you. Sure. Um. Click one. Zero. Click to Dirty Laundry R&D. Yep. Come on in. Ooh. Longevity Serum. Okay. Three draw. Four sure gamble. The botulist. That's pretty good, I think. All right. Start turn. <laughs> we'll go uh install new remote. Uh-huh. Install new remote. Uh-huh. Install new remote. Uh-huh. Zero. Run middle remote. Middle remote. No further action. Fuck that. 
<laughs> All right. Got the bioethics. Run in a remote. A remote? No action? Fuck that. Got the Rashida. <laughs> Gonna make it three for three. Ooh, he's thinking about it. Why is his hand so garbage? Hippo, help me out. <laughs> hippo, hippo, please. I need I need you to be able to do anything. I need play some ice, please. I need hippo to do anything. I have an ice in play. Okay, well you're welcome to run it. You can go ahead and run it click four. Um To you. All right. Turn. Um. Advance. 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 Score. House of Knives. Okay. Crushing Penny Shaver. Oh yeah. Zero. Run R and D. Come on in. Run HQ. Oh, res. Otoroshi. <laughs> <laughs> so. Subs fire. Cause this all is, right. Because that's a. Yeah, I don't have the breaker for that one yet. I put three counters on this card. Would oh, you like to access? No, thanks. I'll, I'll... Are you sure? Oh, come on. It's only three credits. All right. Uh, pass ice. Uh, pass ice. And you access. Five. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you for one before you access. Sure. All right. No further action. Okay. Okay. To you. Okay. Start turn. Enjoy. Gain a credit. Gain a credit. Gain a credit. Enjoy. Thank you. Um, run R and D. No further action. Run R and D. <laughs> no further action. Nine in hand. Earthrise. Yeah, because you probably need more cards at this point. That's what I was thinking. I've only drawn 25. All right. Our I turn. Don't have enough cards right now, is part of what I was thinking, you know? Credit, credit, hedge fund. What's up? Let's go. Stargate. Ooh. Joel Force, Rashida, and Ronan. Yeah, it makes sense. I already got one of my spin doctors, too. Just going right at it? Yeah. All right. Seems fine. And then, um... Okay. Uh, hand size is the the saving on that. I should have used it on the 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 Earth Rise, but my brain was thinking oh, I need to keep cards in hand, and then you know, <coughs> clearly new remote. The actual answer to your question is I will. I cannot play perfectly after, you know, that's, that's just how it be. 
Um, okay, you just want to do that? That's fine by me. Um... You're actually installing an icebreaker? Yeah, no weird, right? Well, I should have done that in the other order, but you you trash your card on the Stargate run, so it doesn't really matter. Um okay. Okay. Start turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, all Rosashita. Thank you for reminding me, Jinteki. I appreciate it. Yep. You're making me a better player. Or she Mandatory right. draw, or maybe not. <laughs> maybe I'm just gonna forget more triggers. Um, hey. Guess what I drew? <laughs> Fuck. This card one. Eeny meeny miny. Mo. Well. Running the middle card. Hmm. No further actions. Sting you for two. Okay. I have to discard. Double checking, double checking. Oh, I already have all three down there. Okay. Cool. Yep. Checking for breakers. <laughs> Start turn. Mm -hmm. Stall. Stall. Advance. All right. Um, okay, um, anything? <laughs> no, no further action. And pay three. One brain. Um. Stargate. Raz Altaroshi. So that'll be counter ice install. Yeah, it's two palms to break. It's all break. Yep. That size. No further action. Ooh, Wakata. It's in the bin. 
Good thing it's the safest agenda in the world, TM. Draw and run archives. Uh, how so nice you? Sure. All oh, right. <laughs> There's a lot of agenda. Damn. You won't. You won't trigger your thing. I'll win before. Uh, I'll, I'll rise a bioethics. <laughs> I'll rise an NGO. And I'll rise an overrider. Uh, yeah. I'll let you in. Damn. Also, I also have an I've had worse, so I do. Like... Oof. Good game. This is a this is a very ice light deck. Trying to play a lot more on the remote shell game style. Yeah, uh, I do like looking into the log. Steals Obakata, wins the game, then takes a net damage. If I didn't have the I've had worse, I would have you know died there, but I would have won anyway. Because yeah, jeez, if you are so mine was like more like small stings. You've got like you're here for the big overrider, like. <laughs> Like, well, not necessarily even the big overrider, right? Because, like, my, my game plan is enough. basically just to keep install advancing or install advance advancing over and over mm -hmm. until you take enough brain damage that I can just kill you from, you know, basically any card effect. Right, a, a sting or a, a, a yeah. like, Obakata is impossible to steal or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, Ronin, that sort of thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I was really struggling for money that game. Yeah. I did not draw all of my economy, like... In the first four turns, like like you did when you were playing PE. The turn <laughs> where I shot your Rashida down, like I ran, like where I called your servers was not good for you. Yeah, um, I I probably played that more aggressively than I needed to, but well, I, part of that too was like I had like I think I had a, at least one I've had worse in hand, so it's like I was if you if it was stuff, it's like worst case is like a snare hits me and I I yeah my hand back yeah um. I think, yeah, so that second turn when I played those three remotes, I think I had three agendas in hand after playing down a 3-1. <laughs> so I just needed to get cards out of hand. That, well, then it just makes sense. That's what you gotta do. You gotta do what you yeah. gotta do. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Every time I see bioethics, I think about how in playtesting it did two damage and just... Yeah. That card was so dumb. Yeah. Here it's, like, more just kind of support. For well, a kill. Well, it also it forces pushing and it forces like. Yeah, action. it like it makes the runner want to run. I think um, the only thing is though, I can't advance it, so it can only bluff as certain traps. Right. Um, but I do <coughs> like the fact that uh, Urtica Cipher will trigger even if it is not advanced, so it Correct. can do both. Frankly, and I think that's cool. Yeah, that that one is scary and pretty strong for that. I. I feel bad because Stargate is also a really strong counter to like R and D pressure on you because like so yeah obviously I can't get snared if I'm yeah you can't get snared um yeah I think you played that the way you had to with the the ice that you're oh, Odoroshi that's a Odoroshi's cool I really like that ice it's a two five century yeah. Which, and I'm holding double Trick of Light and Oboe, so, like, <laughs> if I could just get Oboe to stick on the table, I could just go advance well, and, Trick of Light, Trick of Light. And, like, I can it. never touch that Cerebral Overrider, right? Like, I can, yep. like, yep. and even not knowing what it is, I can't touch it, because what if it's the, you know, I take seven and die, right? Like, mm-hmm. So, this yeah, is well, I, I think counter. even more so, like, Overrider is more dangerous, because if you take five brain damage, you're basically... Done. I'm dead. I'm dead, on, I'm dead on. Well, I'm dead on the spot here. Like, well, here you've already got one. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Odoro, she just. Hey, do you want to access this? Are you sure? Hey. Hey. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, it's free. It's free. You can access yeah, it. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, no, those are fun games, man. Excellent. Very good. Uh, I am excited to get in more now that I've played. Uh, yeah. So this this Val is a lot more of a very like you know general. You know, yeah, it's like a, I don't know if the term is like reg anarch or whatever still, but yeah. it's kind of like good stuff anarch. Yeah, and then um, Tau was specifically built around like the, like I don't know what the term for the Bugalter and Golo paperclip breaker suite is, but it's that breaker suite, you you know the one. It's it's, it's the the best breakers in all of Netrunner. Right. It's just play the three best breakers in each faction, mm -hmm. uh, and with like SMCs and like uh, a bunch of like 
a more run events that like give it like a, a higher pressure level than usual. So. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for today. Good stuff. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. It was yeah. fun. Looking forward to next week. Yeah, get some more games in next week. Thank you, everybody, for joining. If you want to catch more, you can always follow. It's going to go live. We're doing Netrunners on Monday. Um, yeah. Uh, if you got ideas for things you want to see out of crimes, what we're doing here, always love to hear them. Um, subscribe. Cool Skull and Slime. Uh, upcoming stream stuff. Tomorrow is... Uh, Strixhaven drafting. Wednesday is more Final Fantasy VIII with Luke. And then Thursday and Friday, I am... Thursday, I'm taking off. Friday, I'm also probably taking off because uh, I am told the second half of the <laughs> vaccine knocks you the hell out. So I'm just not planning on not doing anything on those days. So anyway, thanks, Dakota, for joining. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, have a good night, everybody.